Hey guys, Mike coming back with another video update for the PC. Uh, this one's going to focus mainly on Hank, Barney, and the Jewish PC. Got some, some auction wins, SGC returns, um, PSA return, all kind of photos. Uh, so we'll go through this real quick. Uh, got these from an auction on eBay. A nice grouping of original photos for Detroit. Uh, pick this one up. It doesn't really show any person, but after they won the 1934 AL pennant, uh, the I think it's the J.L. Hudson building in downtown Detroit hung a banner outside saying Champions 1934. It's a six-story banner. <laughs> which I guess they were ex super excited to have a pennant-winning team back in Detroit. Um, love the old cars down at the bottom from 1934. I'm sure it was a big department store back in the day. But look at that banner. Champions 1934. With the tiger licking his lips. I, just, I thought that was just a cool photo, so I was, and it's a decent price, so I just went ahead and got that. And then this one is from 1936. Hank won his first MVP in 1935. And this is the commissioner, uh, Judge Kennesaw Mountain Landis, giving him his MVP award. And this was on, I think it was July 24th, 1936 at Navin Field. Uh, great image. Love the vintage photos. Love them even better when they show a significant event in Hank's life. But uh, just a great photo of him accepting his award. Love stuff like that. And this is a wire photo. But it's very significant for Hank. He was, as I've said many times, he served for the most part from the spring of 1940 until June of 1945 uh, in World War II. And when he came back, he was excited to come back, but he didn't know if he could even play anymore after all the time he missed. Uh, at this point, he would have been... Um, 34 years old and he hadn't played like I said since the spring essentially of 1940 I'm sorry 1941 I'm sorry 1941 and uh, this is his first game back a wire photo of him he hit a home run I believe in the eighth inning of the first game back July 1st 1945 and this is a wire photo of him crossing the plate after hitting that and I don't know if he was still wearing his uniform back from the original, from where he left. There's a photo out there I didn't get that said uh, he tried on his original uniform that he left behind when he left the team in 41. And he said it was a perfect fit. And I don't know if that's this uniform or if they gave him a new uniform. Quite baggy looking though, so it's kind of funny. But... Uh, I'm sure when he hit that home run, he felt like, okay, I can do this. And he went on to, they went on to win the World Series that year. And um, even in grander style, he had a, on the next, uh, on the last day of the season, when they were playing the Browns, he had a grand slam home run, home run to win the pennant for Detroit. And um, just, uh, I love the 45 World Series. And this is just the first game back, and uh, he went on to that year. So, great picture. I'm glad to get this in the collection. Now, some other things. Here's a speaking of 1945. I've probably showed this in an earlier video. This is a 1945 Brick Stadium World Series press pass. I got it slab by SGC. I'm sorry, PSA. Not a lot of these get slabbed. Probably more out there than there are slabbed ones. But it's bowed for the first three games of the, se of the series. Uh, Hank hit a home run in game two to win it, essentially. Um, 
He hit two home runs in 45, and they won the World Series. And just love it. It's um, is it a mission ticket for a Rosie Ro Rosewell from Radio Pittsburgh? And I read about him, and I guess maybe some of you Pittsburgh fans would know that he was a longtime announcer for the Pirates. It's very cool. And I got these back for the Jewish PC. These all came back from SGC. Thank you, Michael. Uh, this is a 1917 Collins McCarthy R uh, E135 of Erskine Meyer. And a three, beautiful card. Got that in a lot that me and Mike O went in on. And we're selling some of the other ones that came in a lot. But that's the only one I wanted for the PC. Beautiful old car. You don't see these Collins McCarthy cards too often. Especially a Meyer. I, I don't know if I've ever seen one for sale. There are a few out there. And I got back this 1917 Z-Nut of Ed Menzer. He went on to play for the Pirates. And this is Sammy Bone, or Bone, from 1916 Z-Nut. Went on to play with the Reds, I believe. Maybe some other teams. And this is the 1922 Nielsen's Chocolate. For Sammy, and a 4.5. He's coming a Type 1 and a Type 2. This is the Type 1 with Nielsen's on the back. And I got the Type 2, thanks to David. Uh, it's at, with Mike O right now, getting slabbed with SGC. And I got a new Pelty in. I won this from, uh, I think it's REA auction, I believe. This is a nice, excellent five. It has some chipping on the borders, but the surface is very clean. Uh, 1911 T205 Hassan cigarettes. Very nice back on it. It's got the old style white SGC label on it. This only came around for a while. They replaced their old standard green that i love so much with this white one and it really irritated a lot of sgc collectors i guess this would have been probably in the early 2010s can't remember for sure but it only lasted a short time they got a lot of apparently they got a lot of bad feedback on it and this white label quickly went away so i'm debating leaving it in there just for posterity's sake or getting it re-slabbed in the new holder but I remember that it caused quite a stir. I didn't like it at all. I missed the old green labels. Of course, now they're down to these black labels. And this was just an addition to my Johnny Bench PC. I'm trying to get all the team cards. This was in a PSA 9 holder. And SGC just uh, crossing it over is really, really tough right now. And uh, they gave it an 8.5. But for a team card, I'm very happy with that. And then we got... Let's see, we'll go down to this. This is a really neat piece. There was an auction on eBay with a guy that was a Phillies collector. He went to a lot of games in 1933 and 34. And he had he had a binder that had ticket stubs in them from all the games that he went to that those two years. Maybe more. I didn't pay attention to all the auction, but it was significant. He had game tickets, a lot of Yankee tickets that Sold for big money that had Ruth and Gary in it, hitting home runs and such. Um, I was lucky to get this one. This is on the back. He always wrote the any significant event and the date of the ticket. And this one you'll see Greenberg home run. 526, 1933. This was the second home run Hank ever hit. So I'm hoping PSA will slab that and put that on the ticket. Doesn't have a date on the ticket itself. They didn't do that. Uh, I've read that you can tell by a certain phrasing like Greater Shy Park on here. And there's no doubt in my mind since he had, there were literally dozens of tickets from 33 and 34 with these notes on the back and dates. 
whoever grandfather or whoever it was great grandfather went to these games uh, I, I'm sure that these are legitimate but I don't know if they'll actually slab them without dates on the tickets themselves but to be the second home run that Hank ever hit is just super cool he had his first home run in Detroit and I'd love to get that ticket but uh, I'm just hoping they'll slab that so we'll see picked up another Pelty silk card. I've got one already, but these don't pop up often, so I thought I'd get another one just for maybe trade bait or something like that. Very nice. And I'm gonna end with this cut I got. Uh, recent cuts by Tops of Hank. They don't have the licensing licensing agreement or the permission of the estate of Hank to use his photo anymore, and they use very poor cuts usually. This is out of Diamond Kings. So it doesn't have the D on the cap, but it does show Hank actually on the card. So this is the first cut card in quite a while that shows Hank on the card. And um, they actually did five of these. This is number four or five, but the colors and the signature, just a beautiful cut auto. Uh, SP Legendary Cuts did them the best. But I was very happy to see this one come out, and I was very happy to get it, too. So, very nice. So that's what I got this time. And, uh, again, hopefully I can get that ticket slabbed up. And I appreciate you all watching, and uh, we'll do it again next time, Lord willing. Thank you. Bye-bye.